Stag online, go check out his YouTube channel. He catches a lot bigger fish. Actually, you haven't caught a lot bigger fish than uh, what we've shown on our on our channel. Actually, you haven't caught a lot bigger fish than uh, what we've shown on our on our channel. So this is the new tent by Nordic Legend here. Sorry, I don't know if it's new. It's new to me, Nordic Legend. There's the bag. It's actually pretty handy having these little straps inside the bag to help you cinch it down before you're even about to do up the zipper and stuff. But that's the new tent. And then this door, instead of the normal doors coming only to the center here, you get a little bit wider gap. Velcro door to the side. So yeah, this is the tent. If you're wondering how many sheets this is, do the math, four times four, 16. Another cool feature to this tent is you have this, which actually makes, it's kind of cool, it makes the sides harder to poke in, but also makes the door loose because it pulls down on here, makes it so the door's a lot smoother to close. I'm putting my wood stove in here. Just standard windows. And the neat thing about this tent too as well, it's not insulated, but this stuff, like all the walls here, is made from like this like this reflective material which is pretty cool especially if you're running a wood stove you got a nice little mesh one thing i would complain about with this tent is maybe they make the cup holders a little bit bigger next time i think that would be great um you put your Tackle boxes, lures, maybe your books if you're into reading reading books. You got your standard vents on either side here. Yeah, so see, there's a better look at the door. We'll take a look on the outside. One cool thing is these cinch down things. I haven't even used them yet, but they're a lot beefier. And say like your otter ones, I've had the otter ones break. Um, quite a bit, especially in a huge storm. Yeah, roll it up, stick it in there. Another cool feature is the middle. This is what I like about this. When you're on the inside here, it tends to push in right here, especially when you build it up with snow. But then on the middle here, you could actually peg it further out so you get a lot more room on the inside versus it. Like that, you get a couple extra inches there overall nordic legend we're on lake winnipeg here it's a pretty deadly logo pretty deadly guy that guy we should put a smile on his face next time look a little happier there's a nordic legend i'm just gonna set up my wood stove inside of her here and uh we'll get a fire buzzing there's my wood stove quite the find here at the local dump pretty well used bag, but hey, I have use for it. It's pretty ironic too, it's a firefighter bag. Must have a rich fire department in the area. Throwing these out on that side, I keep my 45 degree pipes. This side, I keep my water tank, winter well water tank. Winter well woodlander. Put my legs out. 
you're gonna do this, an ice tent, get one of these chimney sleeves or double walled chimney, I don't know what you call it. You get a little bit in the sleigh rides here, but the rest of the pipe fits right inside. There's the thing in the jigger. You know, there's a couple ways you could put this in there. You could put it in like this, but then as you see, when you're trying to slide a log in, it gets caught like that, eh? So I always like to, I don't know if you guys do or different, but when you're trying to slide a log into your wood stove, just, uh, yeah, have these nice little ratchets here. Here's your damper, a little bit of snow on her. One of my favorite things behind the whole operation here. <laughs> we got the oven, look at this. I bake some pizzas in here, I put the half here, I put the other half here. I would say one thing to the winter well, I wish they had more adjustable oven racks so that you could maybe adjust these in a different way. Much better, much better. Oh. Close the oven. Don't leave the oven door open at home. Why would you leave it open on the lake? All right, so right now, just lining it up. And uh, here's the main ingredient to the show. Here's one of the main ingredients to the show. So this one actually fits my otter tent, but lucky enough, She's pretty dang close to the same size as this one. So, we're just gonna slap that on here. The dimensions are a little longer compared to the Otter, but yeah, she still works very good. I'll just tuck this behind here. So otherwise, some special reason, accidentally touches the back here, we won't burn it. My otter, I have a uh, welding blanket behind it, keeping her, all of this from accidentally touching and stuff. We're only going for the day here, we're not camping or anything, so that'll be just fine. All right, now next up, this little guy, 45. And then here's the other little guy, so 45. So there we have, a 45 and we're just going to stick this out here, twist that in there so it fits, and now we're just going to line the stove backwards here, there you go, put these back out, okay, put these bad boys together, oh, so spark rester, It really gets windy on you. You have these little little tie down things here. Three of them pop out so that you could tie your stove. Either way. Oh, she's getting long. She's getting long, boys. We gotta take her outside. All right, let's go. There you have it. And the wind, the wind blows us quite a bit, so you're gonna tie her down on a windy day. It's pretty satisfying. Not as smooth. Okay, so there's a setup. Now I just gotta go get some firewood and uh, she should be good to go.
Pro tip, always start your fire in front of the damper here. Always make sure your damper's open. Also, I just found out today that I cracked this. So I gotta order a new one. All right, well, I did the outside pegs here. And you actually seem to get a lot more room, but well, that's pretty dang cool. Like you get a, probably a few more square feet. And then in the back here, you get a lot more distance. Keep it away from there. It's pretty dang cool. We picked up Hope for Big Fish over here. I think she's making snow angels or something. Yeah, got her going. Nice and toasty. And then next up, we're gonna go uh, set some tip-ups here. See what's popping. All right, so the flag set up here, we're just using standard HT Pro Thermal Tip-Up, Predator Pro, and I like using these, just simple, easy. They all go in a five gallon pail. And single treble, wire leader rig. And uh, tulip bee, but what I like to do with the tulip bee is actually cut it in half this way. That scent is so key when targeting these pike. So just lets a lot more scent in the water. There you have it, secret bait deployed. Usually I like to go like two, three feet off bottom, almost middle of the water column. Right now we're fishing in, I believe, it's between seven and four feet of water. And, but right now at the same time, we're targeting big burbot. And big burbot like to be lazy and crawl along the bottom. So what I'll do is I'll hang that bait basically six inches right off bottom and the pike will still come grab it regardless. Honestly, it got really hot. Um, it was very, very hot out. I really liked it. It smells clean in here. Bright, I feel. Yeah, it's bright. Way brighter than the Otter Lodge. Is it brighter? or Like, I think it is. Not for sure. Because the other, like, it is gray, but it's more like a dull gray. Whereas this one almost it, like, reflects, oh, it's reflects bright. the light, I guess. Yeah. I actually like the orange as well. I think it's kind of cute. You like the orange. A little different. I bet you it's also probably a safety feature. Because, like, the ones that are blue, whatever, like. Yeah, they're blending right? with the blue water. Or the ice. The blue ice. <laughs> and the edges that pull out here, like, you have so much more room. You could probably almost fit my little table inside here. Like, if I move my hole know. a little bit over, that way you could bring more stuff stuff and have it not be in the way, you know what I mean? wonder if my cot... Should I try to see if my cot fits in here? Yeah, Brought it with me just to test it out. A little table will fit or will I have to downsize? Well, I mean if there's one person right here. Yep. That's not bad. Yeah, I have to move my ice hole a little bit over. I don't think you can sleep too in here. No, but I would just lay on the cot if you were to fish in here. You could definitely sleep too in here. Okay, I'll get up then. Well, you we can't have the table and the cot. No, we gotta see if it'll fit. But... Only some people get out. No, I don't want to anymore! It's freezing. There's no wind, Hope. Come on. It's cold. No, I'm not... Well, you don't have a choice, so pick me up, get up. Pick me up. If you're so strong, pick me up. <laughs> 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 and stay out. My favorite cut. Hold it with a launcher. Fabulous. Is it that you've been bringing with you all over the place? Ching! <laughs> 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 
don't have to do an overnight in here. Hey, shoes off at the door. Not bad, eh? Yep. It's cold. Does it look good? What are you doing? <laughs> for who? For me? What? For me or oh, for you? the camera. You've been on camera this whole time. You little liar! I didn't You little liar! What did, what did I lie about? You didn't I didn't consent. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's pretty funny. And I've been recording this video's probably like 20 minutes now. <laughs> so that's why you picked me up you wanted to look good for the No, <laughs> that's why I kept asking you questions. <laughs> I knew he had a big mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Got these little lights here. Shout out Real Life with Mike. Gave us these little lights. Added a couple of Velcro. Once again, courtesy Real Life with Mike. Maybe I'll link his channel below. And we'll just Velcro it around these little poles. And then they just hook onto the flasher, or else if I have another little power pack. This is the light setup. Just a couple of plastic LED strips. And I have her wired down there, to there, to the flasher. Hope for big fish reading her book, enjoying it. And the nice thing about these lights, if it's too bright, oh, if it's too bright, only use one. You want it really bright, use two. And uh, one of my favorite parts about these lights is that there's no flicker. You know, you get those, some of those LED lights that flicker and I could even play 120 slow-mo with uh, the big camera and there's no flicker at all. So that's pretty nice for a filming YouTuber standpoint, but uh, I will link those in the description. Checking for flags. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Hope. Is there a flag? You're kidding. <laughs> you got a flag. Okay, let me just finish this paragraph. What do you mean finish this paragraph? Hope, we got a flag. <laughs> we gotta go get it. Oh, this could make or break the show. We don't even have a bump board or nothing. How are we gonna measure? Luckily though, I got my jaw spreaders and pliers. That's all you need. We're gonna grab we're gonna grab bait too while we're at it. We're out on the vast expansion here of the north basin of Lake Winnipeg. I don't see it spinning. I hope this isn't the one that was frozen. One of these tip-ups I set was frozen. When that happens is they'll trigger it, pull the bait, go for like a 10 foot swim with it, and then they feel the resistance and they drop it. All right, we're gonna hand this off to the to the camera lady. Oh, oh, hello, hello. Oh, okay. That kind of feels decent. What? The first tip up of the day? So right now I'm just spreading out my. Oh, 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 hello. Hello, she's moving water. Get in here, camera girl. Get in here. Get a close up of that. It's right across the hole. Holy, look at Whoa. that. Whoa. <laughs> That's a big head. Okay. Nice. Let's just keep this fish in the water. Good safety handles. What is wrong? So. Oh, that's what's wrong. We're hooked in the gill. Luckily, luckily we're here and we get to keep the secret bait. 
Okay, ready? She's bleeding a little bit, but we're, we gotta get her back in here. Hook the gill, accidentally. She should be ready to go though. Oh, there she goes. That cold water will clog up, it, clog up the, uh, the wound right away as soon as she gets out. Now, what I'm actually gonna do is put a fresh piece of meat on because now the blood and scent and everything will be fresh in there. Perfect. And back down she goes. Right now we're using a combination of Nate's baits. And that's the deadline over there. That's where Hope yells at me later and says there's one out here. <laughs> and a little bit in the tinkle, tinkle, <laughs> tinkle trunk here. We got this guy. Just caught my PB 46 and a half inches Lake Winnipeg giant. And uh, indication of the flag going off that these big fish are roaming around these flats. So we're gonna toss this on. I usually use a 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. And this is still the same fluorocarbon leader, leader that I caught the 46 inch pike on. This is also the frostbite Mr. Big. I'm gonna toss this bad boy on and see what's happening. Rattle them in like a couple of bucks. And I rip, I rip pretty aggressively for these guys. Like I got a flasher here, but like you do not mark any of these fish. Even uh, real life with Mike there came out with me. And in the live scope, you are not marking these fish. They would just come out of nowhere. It's like they they could feel you from like 30 feet away and they just rip straight in and just smoke you. Like you could literally just not even be paying attention and do this and suddenly your rod just gets folded. I just want to point out here too that one major advantage to wood heat is just it's so beautifully dry. Like zero frost on the tents see outside here no frost on the windows obviously the curvature of this kind of blinds you a bit and offsets what you could actually see but nothing like wood heat it's probably like 25 degrees celsius maybe even 30 currently sweating on my nose gotta gotta layer down here take it off It's in the shack. <laughs> we got dinner. We got dinner. Whoa. Get over here. Not a bad Walter. Probably like a 18, 19 incher. Heck yeah. Cool. All right. I knew I felt a bite down there. So just as I'm about to throw, throw this guy out here. I look back and the same, same flag is off. Well, while we're, while we're waiting for this fish to, to bite here, I believe uh, Hope is a little bit hungry. We brought out one of these bad boys. A Giuseppe Pizzeria Rising Crust. Ooh, how does that sound, Hope? Welcome to the Giuseppe's Pizzeria Review. So first of all, I just want to start off. Some of these boxes don't have these easy tabs, but this one does. Boom. Boom. Perfect. Ready for the oven. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Obviously we brought ranch dipping sauce. I don't know. All right, boys and girls, we got her done. I'm just gonna open that bad boy. Rising crust, they say. Right there. Ooh. Yep, that's pretty warm. We'll toss that in there for a little bit and uh, see how long it takes. Well, we're sitting here and the lights went out. Who forgot to pay the hydro bill? <laughs> uh, dang it. Yeah, I guess I've had my flasher running for a few days before this. Dang it. Our pizza's still in the oven. Dang it. My phone's gonna die. 
We're not even gonna get to hey I'll, I'll save the little bit of battery life so we could uh see this pizza and eat it and then it's gonna be home time. Well power's back on. Luckily one of us had a brain. I'm not naming any names, but uh I forgot that I brought the Milwaukee light here, so we have a little bit of a backup plan here. So we're just gonna get this pizza out and see how she is. Make some room on the dinner table here. Give the table a little wipe here. Yeah, let's go. Pizza is done and ready. We're going to eat this deliciousness with a little bit of ranch here. All right, Hope. Give us a taste test. Awesome. Looking at it, the bottom looks really good. I like. Oh, you see that, crust. Jamie Bruce? <laughs> That's to you, Jamie Bruce. <laughs> Jamie Bruce was uh, chirping me for my black bottom pizza there the other video. Looks good. A little bit of ranch for her. Please. Oh, my <laughs> bad. <laughs> give, give us a review. Nice and crunchy, like some croutons, dried, like, uh -huh. like bread that's been left out on the counter for a week, or? Better than soggy. I think it's great. It tastes good. <laughs> That was heavy. <laughs> Matt, did you see the rod bend? Oh my god. What? <laughs> what? What did you have on there? That minnow? I mean, I guess that's what you get for only having 10 pound fluoro. Dang it. That was wild. Oh. And what did it snap? Did, was that your rattle bait? Oh. Is that your rattle bait or just that minnow thing? Dang it. Oh, I got pizza sauce on me. Mm. And on your leg. And my leg. It's okay, I got ranch on me. As if, dude. That was big. That looks heavy. What do you think it was? Probably a 34 inch burger. I'm actually pretty chill. Yeah. Eat my sorrows away. Brutal. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Sorry, Daniel. Redemption. <laughs> Tiny. Oh my goodness, that's a little wall. <laughs> More dinner. <laughs> Look at this little guy. The night bite. My goodness. <laughs> what a release. All right, give us a rundown. Okay, so we're on our way home, checking our last few flags here. Oh, maybe it's not even on there. Could be swimming towards you. Oh, oh, what is it? 
this a burger? <laughs> okay, pull it out. Oh, whoa! <laughs> That's a good size one. Good job! <laughs> <laughs> Dinner! Yum! Thank you, Mr. Yoko. Brutal day of fishing. It was an absolute wide open earlier. Dude. Oh! <laughs> right in the freaking corner of the mouth, dude. I don't know if I could get him out. I don't know if I could get him out. Oh my god! <laughs> Hold on! He's caught. Look at Barbos falls right out. All right, you guys. I just want to share this special moment that couldn't happen without the Nordic legend here. Um. So today is a very miserable day. This is to finish off the video. We just had a flag, just probably about 25, 30 yards this way. And uh, we got some big in the live well here. And uh, it's a pretty special moment. I don't care what anyone says about commercial fishermen because our bay, myself included, are probably one of the ones who commercial fish this bay. Basically every day of our lives during the commercial fishing season and lots of people like to blame, oh, the reason why there's no big fish is because there's commercial fishing. This is basically gonna be one for the record books that I'm gonna be showing you here. And my personal best, which I literally just broke once again last week, basically the same in the same week and now uh, we're gonna show it off here. This thing is an absolute freaking tank of a fish. Oh my god. This thing is dang near four feet long. Last week I had my PB broken, which was previously 46 and a quarter and last week I just had 46 and a half holy crap you guys this is incredible we're gonna take a couple pictures this fish is just chilling in the live well she's calm in the live well take a couple pictures and then we'll get her released Let's go over okay, okay, look at this fish is fired up, ready to go. Look at the camera over there. <laughs> look at the head. Is ready. She is ready to go, you guys. Okay. Where does she go? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. What just happened? <laughs> That's unreal, you guys. Oh. I should just stop fishing. Just quit for the year. Quit, we're done. We're done. Cut! Okay, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please sauce to subscribe. And uh, we'll appreciate it if you liked the video too. Go check out. The Nordic legend, I'll leave a link in the description. Oh, I can't believe that just happened. Okay, stay tuned for more guys. We'll catch you guys soon. Power those fists,